Good morning guys, I am here today to show you how to shoot something at home, make your own home set. I'm squinting because the sun is right there, but I'm going to show you how to do a little set design. There are two different um, setups I want to do today, two outfit changes for my Instagram, vlog, Pinterest, all those good things. Um, I'm actually also going to try and film a TikTok video. <laughs> Don't know how that's going to work because I'm too old for this, but we're still going to do it. I have my little setup, I'll show you guys here. These are my props. They are clearly not set up yet, but we're going to make them into a really cool set. Of course, I have Pinterest boards full of inspiration of what this should look like. In all of my Pinterest boards, everyone is um, in the grass or something like that, but we're going to make this rooftop, so we're just going to make it work. Um, and yeah, I'm also fighting the wind. There's hair in my eye. There's just a lot going on, so let's get started. Daddy bow. Daddy bow. Okay, that took a long time, but next we have up is our white sheet. I just got this from Walmart. It's a twin size sheet. I ironed it. It's probably wrinkled again. I'm going to put it up with the clothing pin. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. So we're back in the room. And I obviously need to get these Instagram photos, so I'm just going to have to shoot them in here. Um, setup's gonna be a little tricky, but nothing I can't handle. I'm eating the props. Okay, so, turn the piano off so you can hear me. Behind me is a very shoddy, shaky setup. Um, these light stands are actually not strong enough to hold up the sheet but we are going to make it work i prefer to shoot outside in the sun um anytime that's not from like 12 to 2 anytime um before or after that i really like to shoot outside in the sun i don't have to worry about trying to make sure i'm not like you know i'm oh underexposed because i always excuse me i have i don't have to worry about lighting when i can shoot in the sun versus when you're at home you kind of have to set up lights and everything um so i'm just going to be shooting off this natural light which isn't my preference however it's what we're going to do today um and i'm just going to set it up and work through the shot now i do feel like the shoot is going to actually change into something else because i can't really get my original vision to come to fruition so let's just hang on for the ride <laughs> So, first photo shoot done. I'm gonna change my clothes and redecorate my set. Again, this was supposed to be down on the roof, but um, I keep eating all the props, so I figure now's a good time to switch over into the second one so I can eat all the props at the end. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch the first one I shot on my phone, but I'm gonna switch over and shoot this one on my camera just because I want a little bit higher quality um, and I also want a little bit more flexibility in editing this since I'm not standing. The natural light is a little darker on the floor. No I like the plaid, but again, I feel like it's too much, um, the plaid underneath of the sheet. I feel like it's too much color, so that's why I put the sheet on top of it. Plus it gives me a little cushion for when I'm sitting on the floor. Um, if you didn't see my Instagram pictures with this Rukuko bottle that I did at the beach, you should check that out on my Instagram. But, oh my gosh, I went to the farmer's market yesterday and got these berries. I mean, can we just take a moment, like look how big these blackberries are. Like, they're huge! they're so sweet too like they're so good i'm not even gonna lie to you so basically um whenever i arrange my little picnics if you don't know i love picnics i try to make it look like it's in the middle of being eaten plus but then look camera ready so um i was eating that grapefruit but whatever and of course i'll eat all this food once i get done but i just usually kind of throw the berries and let them like fall where they are to look a little bit more natural 
and then I just set up a camera and that. Whenever you're doing set design, you should try to make sure that the color palette stays the same. If it's monotone, if it's monochromatic, if it's analog, if it's complementary, whatever it is, try to keep it, um, let's face the sun, <laughs> try to keep it as cohesive as possible. And it, sometimes it's hard to create it's hard to um, plan content when you're not sure what you're going to do, but trying to keep in mind like what you want your Instagram feed to look like. Pinterest is an amazing, an amazing platform for research. I use it for everything. You, If you are not sure where to start, I have literally Pinterest boards of different types of photo shoots that I've done in the past and different ones to kind of give you an idea of where to start. All right, I lied. So I'm gonna actually need my phone. So I'm not gonna be able to film this part because I need to use my phone as a remote in order to, um, capture what is going on in my camera because I can't really see. Um, so I usually do use my phone as a remote using the Canon app when I'm trying to take my photos by myself just because I, sometimes I can't see the frame. So I'm going to switch over and then I'll just include like pictures of what happened here. close all my windows because all of my neighbors are fully awake playing their bachata, they made renge, they salsa, whatever they are in here live and ready to go this Saturday. So I am just going to run through a few quick tips that I kind of went over in the video when it comes to planning your content. Um, planning, 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 planning on Pinterest, planning on Instagram, whatever it is, plan. As much as you think your idea is new and innovative, I'm sorry someone else already did it so there are going to be photos out there that you can use as a guide as what you want or don't want especially if you're using another photographer or another friend um, having an image to show them and articulate in a very visual concrete way will save you hours of going back and forth as trying to achieve what it is that you want after you've planned you prep so for me when i'm shopping i like to shoot a lot of lifestyle and home things so when i'm shopping i try to be conscious of what maybe looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing like i don't buy my food based off of what looks good on instagram but if i'm going to buy a uh, jelly or jam spread or a honey maybe i gravitate towards the one that looks a little bit better for camera so when i go to shoot i have these items that i already use and they already look good so i'm not spending a bazillion dollars trying to get more pieces of items of things that i'm not ever going to use after the shoot is done so planning Big, making conscientious decisions and then just having fun if we're being honest there's no new idea under the sun so you sitting there just to take a few extra moments to really get your vision to come to life people are going to be able to see that they're going to be able to see your flair your like your laughter your personality whatever it is they're going to see that coming through and they're going to know yeah that's such and such i have so many friends who will dm me and i will write a caption and then in the photo and they're like i can literally hearing you say that in my head like because i'll be like mm -hmm, hey child mm, boo boo and like that might be my caption and they're like i can literally hear you saying this this is you people especially your friends um they're gonna know when you're being genuine and when you're not so try to be as genuine as you can be and let that articulate so the first few shots might be a little stiff but by the time you get to your 10th roll especially if you're by yourself at home you should be having fun throwing your favorite music and jam out and then just create have fun why else are you doing this if it is not to show that like you can have fun by yourself and create beautiful content so the food on this blanket is staring at me i'm hungry so i'm gonna wrap this up and eat that Plus, I need to call my best friend back because I've been ignoring her for the past hour that I've been shooting this content, and she probably doesn't love me anymore. But I love her. Hi, Kay. See you soon. <laughs> anyway, guys, give it a thumbs up if you like this. Give me some tips if you have any in the comment section below. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a TikTok video, too. I don't know. I'm a millennial. I'm kind of old. TikTok, mm, mm, mm. We're going to try it. All right, guys? Bye. Ugh. Gotta get off the floor. I feel like I'm trying to find a thing. You all the goodies. Let's tuck them down in there like that. Okay. Bye, bye, bye.